hi everybody welcome back to my channel family food and fun so today I have a brand new recipe that I want to try um, my husband actually picked it out something that he's seen so I'm just gonna kind of tweak it a little bit so that way I can kind of get it to where I know that they will eat it um, yeah so let me just bring y'all closer in on the pan because what I did was I kind of went already ahead and got started I already got my chicken um, partially done it's like halfway done I had boneless skinless chicken breast the thin ones and all I did was just saute them in butter I did not season them at all I just put them in some butter cooked them down about halfway a little bit over halfway because I wanted them good enough if you can see here just so where I can shred it up really good so I went on ahead and got that started and then I went on ahead you already know if you've been with me colorful plate happy plate these are my bell peppers here and my sweet Vidalia onion so we're gonna kind of make like some um we're gonna use the extra large flour tortillas I'm gonna slice them halfway and we're gonna fold them and kind of mend them together and we're gonna kind of make us like some little um uh, I guess you want to call it chicken and cheese pockets or whatever whatever kind of pockets but so let's just go ahead and get started I'm gonna bring y'all in closer to the frying pan so we can go ahead and pick up where I left off at be right back okay y'all so if you can see here in my pan it has like the little butter residue from when I first cooked the chicken I should have already had this on so let's go ahead and turn that on and while that's getting hot you already know minced garlic oh I must couldn't get it open that time so let's get the garlic in there I love garlic y'all can't help it let me get a spoon real quick should have had that too Alright, so I got my minced garlic going in here and like I said, this is just the leftover residue from the butter and the chicken when I first got it in there. I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken back in there with the garlic because I hear it already see, still, um, sizzling, but this is my chicken. Just pulled it apart. So I'm going to put it back in there. Now, mind you, I did not season the chicken yet. So, at this point is what I'm going to go ahead on and season it. Let's get it mixed in there with all that garlic. Pick up some of that butter. And, I'm going to go ahead on and put my onions and my peppers in there as well. This way it'll give my chicken a chance to finish cooking. And I can also cook down my onions and peppers. Get everything in there. Break my onions apart. Oops, somebody got out the pool. Let's go back in. then th this point I'm gonna season it so we got the garlic in there I'm gonna use a little bit of the um, perfect pinch Mexican season and then you already know my badia she's almost out but that's okay I got another one so let's go ahead on and hit this up with some badia to give it some nice flavor
all right we'll get the lid on this that's all i'm gonna do for now so when once it cooks down i'll come back and show you what i'm gonna do next okay y'all so we're back i have my cooking oil i have some cooking oil getting hot and then i wanted to show you this all i did was take some flour and some water i want to make it like a paste because i'm going to use it like a glue to help my tortillas stick together and so i just took a whole tortilla and what i did was i cut them in half so this way i can make my little pockets and then here still hot that's my chicken and onions and peppers in there nice and cooked down because that's what i'm gonna fill my tortillas with so as soon as my grease gets hot i'll be dropping them in so for the meantime let me show you how i'm gonna make one let me bring you over this way a little bit there we go so i have my tortilla here and i have some mozzarella cheese uh, mozzarella and provolone cheese that I'm going to mix with it. I'm really not a cheese person really, but we'll go with just a little bit. Let's kind of get a little bit already there. I'm going to just use this as just a paste. Just as a paste to make everything stick go across the whole top and then I'm just going to fold it you guys can see just going to fold it over and stick that side down with the paste that I made come over this way Stick that side down with the paste and then we open it up here and there's our little pocket so we have our little pocket and I'm just going to take some of my chicken and pepper mix just put it down on the inside, not too much because we still got to get it closed. Let's get it down in there. Then I'm going to take my flour paste. And seal it closed. there we go that's it right there let me see if I can get it a little bit closer there we go that's our little pocket and we just gonna seal it closed that's it and then once my grease gets hot I'm gonna drop it in my grease so let's get the grease a chance I'm gonna go ahead and make these up we're gonna get the grease a chance to get hot and I'll come back and show you how I'm dropping them in the grease be right back okay guys so these are two that I already cooked down so I'm just putting them one at a time because one thing I discovered they do not take long and you do not want your inside <laughs> of your filling to pop out or else you will have a papalusa going on up in here so i'm just cooking them down one at a time but i just wanted to show you that and here are the two once again so i will come back once i get them all cooked down so we can cut them open and taste them be right back all right y'all so we back this is what they look like they're all cooked up i'm gonna pick one up they cook fast y'all like really really fast because your inside filling is already done so they cook fast um i just got some salsa on my plate yep. 
We're gonna taste it with some salsa and see how it turns out. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes good. Let me see if I can get to my inside. Right, that's what I was gonna try to do. Mmm. There it go. That's good, y'all. Um, yeah. Inside feeling is good. See, I just cracked this one open. See, that's the inside feeling falling out. Mm -hmm. So, I can taste my melted cheese. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah. My melted cheese is in there. My onions, my peppers, my chicken. And then you got the like the nice crunch effect from the tortilla. Nice and soft. Wow. This was a hit. This is my first time frying a tortilla. I've never never fried them. Just heated them in the microwave and like made tacos. And it mm. actually tastes better fried. It like mm -hmm. has kind of like a, a sweet taste to it a little bit. That's what I was going to say, yeah. And the aroma when you're cooking it. My youngest son thought I was in here cooking pancakes because it has a little sweet aroma to it. Mm -hmm. mm. I give it a thumbs up. It's a hit. Chicken Philly and a tortilla. With some That's salsa on the side. Mm-hmm. Mm. A white queso cheese will actually go good drizzled over this. A nice hot white queso cheese. Yeah. Mm. That would go good with this too other than a, um, a salsa. Yep. So I give it two thumbs up. I recommend you try it. Or you can do steak. Yeah. Like Philly cheese. Whatever you want to do. But this is hitting right here. So, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, comment. tell us what you think if you try it, and uh, yeah, just let us know. Share, tell somebody, know somebody, mm -hmm. and we're going to see y'all on the next video with our next recipe, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's time to eat. We'll see y'all on the next one. Yep.